this combination of neurons put through this so i can have more hidden layers now i can have the input layer the output layer and i can have more hidden layers okay the more the hidden layers the deeper the network enough theory so before we even start running with the neural network example we'll learn how to walk first right so walk before you run simple example first the example that we are going to do today is will, will be of a simple neural network which will do some handwritten digit recognition okay we are going to use something called the mnist data set mnist data set for doing this handwritten di digit recognition okay this mnist data set is actually a very popular data set it is available at ian lacoon's website and you can directly download it there and check out what the data looks like so typically if i were to google this out how an mnist data looks like if i go over to images this is what a typical mnist data set looks like okay it's a bunch of these handwritten digits that i need to recognize so given this image can i guess what digit it is and so on okay so this is what the mnist data set looks like it's actually a pretty classic data set in the neural network world kind of the getting started in neural network data set that you have it's kind of like the hello world data set of neural networks it's a pretty classic data set okay in this data set there are 70000 data points in total so there are 70000 images in total each of these images is a 28 by 28 grayscale image of a particular digit i have 55000 of those 70000 images as training 10000 of these images for testing and 5000 of these images for validation so out of a total of 70000 data points i have 55000 for training 10000 for testing and 5000 for validation we will only utilize these two sets the training for building our neural network and the testing okay we come back to the concepts and implementation now a perfect thing to do would be to go back to the concepts and implementation of the previous problem that we did now this is mind you last session we went through these concepts and implementation so in a typical linear regression problem there was preparing the data you remember we generated some data on house size and house price inference that is a simple linear regression problem loss measurement that is the mean squared error and the optimizer that is the gradient descent optimizer so these were our four cornerstones of concepts as well as the corresponding implementation for linear regression what is going to be our strategy for neural networks so when i'm tr trying to do a neural network instead of a linear regression notice that the concepts will not change the concepts will remain intact what will change is the implementation portion of it okay so we are going to prepare the data which is going to be our mnist data set that we've already discussed so we don't need to generate data in this case we already have the mnist data to go forward with what is the inference our neurons right so we are going to take the input multiply it by the weights sum it up add some bias and then put it through an activation function this will be our unit of computation this will be the inference how are we going to measure loss using something called cross entropy so cross entropy is a measurement which will tell me whether i'm doing a good job on my predictions or not so we'll be using the cross entropy we won't step through the functional construction of the cross entropy function so if anyone is interested in going deeper the wikipedia page on cross entropy will be more than enough to educate you on what this function does okay finally we have the optimizer and again in this case we are going to use the gradient descent optimizer put it through a back propagation algorithm to 
learn these weights and biases okay and by the end you'll have a pretty sophisticated neural network so it's now time for the code demo tensorflow training building a simple neural network using the mnist data set